Hello YouTube viewers and random Back to the Future fans, today we'll be reviewing this which is the Hot Toys Marty McFly figure and here it is in its box. It's the standard Hot Toys shoebox style which features this great dynamic graphic on the front with the Back to the Future logo and the DeLorean travelling through time on this dark motorway, leaving the fire trails behind it as well as the out of time license plate. And as of course the movie masterpiece series Marty McFly 1-6 scale collectible figure. On the back we get this awesome graphic of the clock tower in yellow and orange with the logo as well as some legal guff too. Removing the top cover reveals this sleeve, which shows the view from the dashboard of the car as it travels through time at 88 miles per hour, as well as a list of the exceptionally talented bunch of people who worked on the figure. Taking this away allows us to see the figure and all of his accessories laid out in this plastic tray. But that's enough about the box, let's move on to the figure itself. Alrighty, so here we have Marty McFly and great stuff. God, this is beautiful. Hot Toys always seem to just nail the face sculpt on their figures, and this is no exception. This perfectly looks like Michael J. Fox, circa 1985. The paint apps alone on here are exceptional, which really helps give it a sense of skin tone and, and brings out that extremely subtle sculpting throughout. It just makes it eerily real and less like a basic action figure. You can see the wrinkles and creases in the forehead and around his brows. The eyes have been given this glossy paint application, which makes them look wet and reflect light adding to the realism, while they also have the bags and shading underneath. The nose has been recreated perfectly too, with the filter from underneath and the lips which are slightly open. The ears look great as well and contain more of that shading effect, while the hair has been sculpted beautifully with all those strands of hair moulded to perfection and really set off using a mix of light and dark paint apps to give it some depth. Moving down to the torso, Marty is wearing his life preserver, I mean his vest, which contains padding inside, as well as stitching, and buttons on the exterior. Two pockets are also present on the left and right side. The tricky thing with clothing like this is getting the scale right, but I think Hot Toys have managed to pull it off, and it really does look accurate. Underneath the vest is the stylish denim jacket, which again has been recreated perfectly, with the darker blue sections around the shoulders, collar, and upper arms. The stitching is on there as well. Uh, there's pockets and buttons too, it's it's beautiful. Some badges are also pinned on here as well, while there's also some lining on the underside which can even be seen on the upturned cuffs there too. Under the jacket can be found his white shirt with the grey check design, and under this can be spotted his maroon t-shirt, while his black braces with the silver clasps are present over this. The vest, jacket and shirt are all removable, which allows a great amount of customization to the figure, allowing Marty's appearance to be changed up just like in the movie. The hands feature creases in the palms, knuckles and fingernails too. The jeans look fantastic, with the stitching, pockets, back pockets and lining down the sides of the legs. The feet feature his white tennis shoes with the sculpted laces and sections on there, the red heel and even the white socks can be seen under the jeans and tucking into the shoes. On the underside is the tread on the sole as well as a small amount of legal Ban Wuble Wangen. So overall for detail this is highly exceptional and once again Hot Toys Eye for Detail is still 2020. Turning to articulation, the head can do the full 360 degree exorcist twist, as well as nod up and down, and pivot from side to side to a very wide degree. The arms could do the full 360 at the shoulder, but the clothing prevents this. They can raise out to 90 degrees, however, and can twist through a full 360, but again the sleeves hinder this. A double bend on the elbow allows him to bring his hands up to his face, there's a full 360 on the wrist, and this also allows the hands to pivot forward and back. An ab crunch allows Marty's torso to move forwards and back, as well as twist from side to side by a small amount, and pivot left and right also. The legs kick forward to 90 degrees, as well as out to the sides, allowing him to do the splits, and feature another joint at the top of the leg, allowing them to twist around. The knees offer a double joint, allowing Marty to kick himself up the backside. The feet offer a full 360, but this can cause them to disconnect from their joint and can also pivot up and down and from side to side. So the figure does offer a large amount of articulation, however most of it is hindered by the clothing. Marty comes with a decent amount of accessories, starting off with Doc's JVC camcorder. This features a great amount of detail including the various control buttons, the mic, the straps and the lens, which actually does look like an actual camera lens. That's great. Marty also comes with his cassette tape player, 
which also features buttons on the sides. Plus you can see a cassette tape in there, which is some awesome detail. The connected headphones look really great as well. His skateboard looks fantastic, what with the graphics on the board recreated well on the top and on the underside, while the yellow wheels have some dirt on them, adding to the realism, and these can also move as well. His backpack also makes up the accessories and looks great. It's filled with some cotton wool padding which helps it look full, but the good thing is is that the zippers actually work, so he can remove the padding and fill it with his various accessories to keep them safe and secure. The Save the Clock Tower pamphlet is here as well, and what I really love is that Jennifer's I Love You message and her grandma's phone number is also included on the back. Marty also has some alternate hands which can assist him in holding his various accessories. These also contain the same sculpting as seen on the hands which are already on the figure. Backup wrist pegs are also included in the set. Finally we get Marty's mirrored aviator sunglasses which can be popped onto his head where he can wear them over his eyes or pushed up onto the top of his head. We also get Marty's watch with the various buttons on its face. So with those last two accessories you can pose Marty in his iconic stance from the movie's poster. That is awesome. The figure also comes with the standard oval Hot Toys base with the Back to the Future logo emblazoned on it and Marty McFly written on this raised plinth. As opposed to the crotch cradle we get this which hugs around the back of the figure and holds him securely in place. So overall what do I think of this figure? Well I absolutely adore Adore it. The face sculpt just nails Michael J. Fox's appearance from 1985, while the clothes are to perfect scale and match those seen in the movie. The articulation is great, even considering that some of it is hindered by the clothing. I love the accessories and the thought put into them. However, I would have really loved to have seen his guitar included in there, or even his yellow biohazard suit at a stretch. Ultimately, Back to the Future is one of my all-time favourite films, and I had to pick one of these up, as it perfectly represents my love for the Time Travel Trilogy. I just wish I could review the Hot Toys DeLorean that perfectly complements it. And so that does it for this review. I really hope you liked it. If you did and you're new to my channel, please hit subscribe for more videos, and keep up to date with all my latest news and reviews by liking my Facebook page and following me on Twitter. Thank you so much for- What the hell? A Hot Toys DeLorean? What the hell is going on here?